Welcome to Pencil College. In chapter 2.8, we will learn how to solve equations in the form a to the power of x equals to b. Okay, so the easiest way to solve such an equation is to take ln okay, on both sides of the equation. So for example, if I have 5 to the power of x okay, equals to 1, for example. Okay, so to solve for x, I will take ln on both sides of the equation. So ln 5x equals to ln 1. Okay, and the power x can be brought over to the front. So this becomes x times ln 5 equals to ln 1. Okay, so ln 1, okay, just in case uh, you don't know, ln 1 is just 0. Okay, so x times ln 5 is 0. So finally, x is just 0 divided by ln 5, which is just 0. Okay, so one more example. So let's say I have uh, 7 to the power of x equals to 49, for example. So to solve for x, I will just take ln 7x equals to ln of 49. And similarly, the power here can be brought down. And finally, x is just ln 49 divided by ln 7, okay, which is just 2. Okay, so the lesson objective, very simple for this chapter, just solve equations that look like this form. Okay, in example number 1, we will try to solve for x over here. So what we will do, we will shift 7, negative 7 to the power of 2x to the right hand side of the equation and 1 to the left hand side of the equation. So 4 minus 1 equals to 7 power 2x. So 7 power 2x is just 3. Okay, so to solve for 2x, we will take ln on both sides of the equation. So ln 7, 2x equals to ln 3. The 2x can be brought up to the front. So we have 2x times ln 7 equals to ln 3. And finally, 2x is just ln 3 divided by ln 7. And x is just, okay, half times ln 3 over ln 7. Okay, and if you key this in your calculator, round it off to three significant, significant figures, you'll just get this answer. Okay, moving on. So for e to the power of 2x plus 1 is equals to 21. So e to the power of 2x plus 1 is just 21 divided by 4. Okay, to get rid of the exponential, we will take ln both on both sides of the of the equation. So this is just ln of 21 over 4. Okay, so at this point in time, realize that ln e will cancel. Okay, so we have 2x plus 1 equals to ln 21 over 4. So finally, 2x is ln 21 over 4 minus 1 and x is just half of what you see on the left hand side of the equation so this press this in the calculator round it off and you get this answer okay example number two given this equation find the value of 6 to the power of x okay let's tackle this part first before we move on to the hands or otherwise okay so over here, what we're going to do, we will try to extract out terms okay, from the left-hand side of the equation. So 3 to the power of x plus 1 can be written as 3 to the power of x times 3, okay, multiplied by 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 2. Okay, and this is equals to 21. Okay, so realize that since this is a multiplication, okay, I can shift the terms around. Okay, so this can be written as, as this. Okay, and 3 times 2 to the power of negative 2 is just 1 quarter. If you give me this. So, over here, this is important. Okay, let's recap on the laws of indices. So, a to the power of m times b to the power of m is ab to the power of m. Okay, so this will become 2, or rather 3 times 2 to the power of x. Okay, and I will divide these terms that you see over here to the right hand side of the equation. So 21 divided by 3 times 1 quarter. Okay, so over here on the left, I'll get 6 power x. And 21 divided by 3 times 1 quarter is just 28. Okay, so the value of 6x, which is the first part of this example, is just 28. So hence of, uh, hence of otherwise, find x and correct this 3 sig fig. So what we're going to do here, we'll take 
ln on both sides. So ln 6x equals to ln of 28. So x can be brought down to the front. Okay, and finally x is just ln of 28 over ln of 6. Okay, round this off, you get 1.86 to 3 sig fig. Okay. Next example, this is very important because I think this is a possible question that can come out in your examination. So using the substitu substitution, y equals to e to the power of x, solve this. Okay, so let me just write the equation in a way whereby it looks easier to perform our substitution. e to the power of negative x can be written as e to the power of x minus 1. Okay, so if it's not clear to you, let me just write this as a side working. So this is the equivalent to this. So y is equals to e power x, so this is y. Okay, and to get rid of y to the power of negative 1, I'll multiply by y throughout the whole equation. So y times y is y squared, 7 times y is 7y. 12y power minus 1 times y is just 12. Okay, shift all the terms to the left hand side of the equation. I will get a quadratic equation, and if I were to factorize this, I'll get y minus 4 times y minus 3, so y is just 3 or 4. Okay, so at this point in time, we're not done. So y, y was substituted to be e to the power of x, so this, or e to the power of x equals to 4. Okay, so x is just ln 3, which can be corrected. Okay, wait just a moment. So x is just, or x is just ln 4. Okay, to get from this step, to this step, just take ln, okay, on both sides of the equation. And ln 3 is, sim is simply 1.10, okay, and uh, ln 4 is simply 1.39. Okay, so we'll stop here at this point in time. Okay, so just to summarize, we want to solve for this chapter, we want to solve equations that look like this form, a to the power of x equals to b. And the strategies involved is to use log, okay, this is common log if you have forgotten, or natural log, okay, and also not to forget our laws of indices. Okay, let me leave, leave you with some practice questions. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com.